How you going guys? So I'm here in the beautiful Island of Skye, um, starting the uh, Isle of Skye trail today. We've just arrived at Broadford um, and we're going to be setting off uh, today. Um, we were going to do it the opposite way round, but we've decided to do it this way round because it lines up better with the good weather and we want to be up on the uh, Cullins during uh, the nice weather rather than it raining on us. So that's the plan. Um, I'm here with my uh, girlfriend. Uh, Nicola so we'll be uh, walking it together so I'll introduce you to her later on but for now we're gonna get the stuff on our backs and get going look at his little rucksack so this is Kit he's a good boy he's gonna be coming with us too yeah. Handsome boy. <laughs> this is Nicola, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Let's get going. So just behind me is the Red Collins, absolutely beautiful already. Yeah, looking forward to the rest of the trail. Sorry, where do we go? Did you get that guys? So we'll be going for about an hour. We're gonna take a little break in a minute. Uh, we're not gonna push ourselves too too much this evening. Just gonna kinda take our time, see how far we get. And mostly looking for a decent well camping spot um, looks like we're heading towards the coast in a minute so hopefully there'll be some nice flat areas around there with a gorgeous view Right guys, I think we found our spot for the night. It's in a beautiful uh, location right by the coast. We've got our own little personal stream got running past and uh, the views are spectacular. I'll show you show you them in a second. Um, I think we're gonna just uh, get our tent set up, um, get all the gear in it and chill out with a beer and then maybe go for a bit of a wild swim later on. So we're using Nicola's Lanshan. This is new to me, one of these. I always think they're a bit of a bin bag but they look pretty good at the moment. They're held up with the poles. Um, got our two sleeping bags and sleeping mats in there. Plenty of room at the bottom for the dogs to sleep. Some nice vestibules to put our uh, bags in and stuff. And I like the colour as well, it blends in real nice with the surroundings. Speaking of which, look at where we are. This is absolutely ridiculous. This might be one of the best spots I've ever camped, ever. Don't get salt water on your new shoes. Hi guys, so we've taken the uh, shelter in the tent because the midges are out in force. Like we were just chilling by the beach and it was absolutely beautiful and then 
suddenly just swarmed by them. Um, yeah, they're absolutely covering the tent outside. So we've took shelter. Um, I hope you like my new hat. It's pretty cool. <laughs> see them. So the wind picked up long enough to try and cook some food. I think the midges are still out. You can probably see them on my face to be honest. But um, yeah, finally managed to make some food. It's getting dark now. It's getting a little bit later. So we're probably going to try and get an early night um, and hit the trails early tomorrow. Good morning so we've got up with the sun seems like it's gonna be a nice day some blue skies up above I'm just gonna make a coffee watch the sunrise because it's absolutely stunning and then uh, get on the trail and just take our time today it's gonna to be a lovely long day um, just need to pack up the tent there was a bit of condensation on the tent this morning but nothing to worry about and uh, yeah it's gonna be a good day Yoo! <laughs> absolutely crazy it's like the sun come up and then the midges just all woke up <laughs> it's crazy So just set off on the coastal path. It is absolutely stunning so far. Uh, the dog is in and out of the water. He's probably doing like twice as many miles as us already. So hope we don't get too tired out. Um, got myself a little coffee. Decided to uh, drink it on the move because the midges were swarming us. Um, yeah, hope it's going to be a bit windier tonight to get rid of them to be honest, but uh, yeah, beautiful trail. So I'm just walking down this nice like military road. Uh, I think we join up with a main road in a minute and then it's a bit of road stomping, but the views out that way are absolutely stunning. I'll show you uh, in some of the footage, but yeah. Gonna hopefully get to a nice coffee stop, get a bit of breakfast, and then we've got some more lovely coastal walking to do. So we're just having a bit of a rest stop. The coffee shop and the butty van wasn't open, so just decided to have a bit of a porridge and I've had a tuna pasta bake thing. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to dry out the tent at the moment. And uh, yeah, get on the trail again in a bit.
So we're just at the foot of Blabien. It is an alternate route. You can go over the top of it. Um, I think it requires lighter gear, to be honest. So we're gonna come back another day and uh, try and tackle it. Um, at the moment, we're gonna carry on down the coastal path and head towards uh, a decent camp spot. So we're making pretty good time, um, not too far until we make camp, beautiful weather, We've got a nice breeze so we're staying nice and cool and the scenery is absolutely stunning. You can see right out to the other islands, right out to the mountains on the main coast and yeah, nice cliffs behind us as well, it's stunning. So we just saw a very encouraging sign. We saw a bistro sign. So fingers crossed this bistro is actually open because it would be lovely to get a nice uh, meal and a nice beer by the coast. It's gorgeous around here. So we found a super nice spot, just letting some stuff dry out, got the lunch and sorted up, his kit with his toy, oh he's a good boy, go on, go on, he's a good boy, uh, uh, nice little stream. And a view to see. Beautiful. So today was pretty long, um, decent walk. I think we're both a little bit tired now, um, especially after walking a little bit out of the way to get to the restaurant. But we've had a nice feed as well. Kit's tied out, but clearly not too tied out. He's still playing. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chill out here. I've got, wherever it's gone, got some nice Lefroy in the old, uh, whiskey tin so gonna sip a bit of that chill out there's no midges tonight so gonna have a nice chilled night hopefully and get a good rest got quite a short day tomorrow so yeah gonna just take it easy tomorrow make the day last a little bit longer and then I think we're on a campsite tomorrow night so it'll be nice to get a shower and there's a pub across the road so we're gonna have some uh, nice food and just have a nice evening, nice date evening. Anyway, talk to you soon. So we're just about to start day three of the uh, Sky Trail. Um, it's not the best weather this morning. It was raining quite hard before, but it's kind of eased off enough for us to get the tent away, get packed up. So the idea is to hoof it to the Boffy, which is about an hour, two hours away, something like that. And then take shelter there, get a bit of food in us, and then do the rest of the trail to, where are we going? Can't pronounce it. The next place, which has a pub and uh, the campsite that we booked tonight. So it'll be a, uh, a nice cruisy day, but it might be a bit wild on the web front. I am a Swedish tourist. <laughs> so it's pretty wild and uh, exposed up here. Really uh, slim path and yeah, big cliffs to the left of you. So this section, definitely be careful on, especially when it's wet and you've got a backpack on. It's a bit dodgy.
So we've just come to our first river crossing. It's running pretty fast. It's pretty uh, deep actually. So just try to work away across it now. <laughs> Get all the free gas. What a view, eh, Kit? Good boy. Yes. So, we're just stopping for a bit of lunch. Got some water boiling. I'm just gonna have one of these tuna pots and some nuts and probably a pepper army. Finish off my snacks because we resupply tomorrow. So I put that little rock I found up here, and next to it is a uh, jar of change. It just shows what people try and do to get rid of weight, ditching the money. 